Hey guys, Relic 1974. I'm not making this video to uh, attack, debunk, or defend anybody, especially NASA. Uh, we, all, we all know NASA really stands for never a straight answer. Um, but I gotta admit, this kind of upset me a little bit. Um, do I think NASA tells us the truth all the time? No, definitely not. Um, but this uh, video by Sun's Flare declaring that uh, this rendering on the Mars Curiosity page proves that everything about Mars, or at least this image, is a fake or a hoax. Um, for those who just don't know how these renderings are made, I'd like to try to explain it a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to explain it in terms of uh, making like a 3D video game like these 3D shooters. Um, for a long time I made bonus packs and uh, map extensions and add-ons for the uh, franchise Unreal Tournament. And I can tell you from a lot of experience and as a matter of fact um, I did a map based on the Opportunity Rover's landing site, Gusev Crater. Uh, now he's claiming that uh, this is a fake or a forgery because some of the same imagery shows up on the terrain. Um, and SO made mention of it too. Um, like I said, I'm not calling anybody out. I just want the public to understand how this stuff's made. Uh, so let's go to the Mars mission page. This is what all the fuss is about, this 3D rendering. First of all, realize you're not looking at a actual picture of Mars you're looking at a 3D rendering um, so how is this made? how do you get this 3D terrain and uh, texturing into a software package? well the same way I uh, did Gusev Crater in Unreal Tournament and I'll play a little bit of this um, now if this looks familiar it should blow it up. I've downloaded this. This is from Unreal Tournament 2004. It was an assault game. Now I'm going to play a little bit of this. Now I did add some extra dust storms for effect. Now some of this terrain looks uh, familiar. You've probably seen very similar terrain in pictures of opportunity on the actual surface of Mars. What To make this map, what I did was I took imagery from MRO of Gusev Crater and I made a height map. What is a height map? Let's go back to the browser. I'll show you an example of a height map. They're usually grayscale images um, in the case uh, of the software I was using, they were 512 by 512. Here's a great example of one. Uh, this looks like some, some sort of topography. Don't know if it's uh, terrestrial or extraterrestrial. But uh, this could be a mountain or a, a valley or a seabed, who knows. But what we would do is create a terrain layer in the 3D software that we we're using. Then you tell the software package to, okay, take this terrain height map and it will use the dark, gray, and light areas to determine topography or altitude. It'll distribute that and you'll, what you'll end up with is a totally gray landscape. You'll have your topography and your rolling hills and your craters and uh, mountains and valleys, but then you got to texture it. Now, texturing um, is done from images, just 2D images. Now, I would say most of this is done from a mosaic image, in which case you probably would have some overlapping pictures. Uh, the rest of it, uh, when you're doing 3D terrain, a lot of times you'll pick another texture, maybe sand. Uh, red clay um, as an example I'll go back to my uh, game let me, hit, uh, let me resume this I used layers of 
brown dirt after I had made my terrain based off of real satellite imagery. I didn't make this terrain. This comes. Uh, this terrain was made, generated from MRO satellite imagery. If I had not textured this, you would just see a gray landscape. It would be pretty boring. So first I lay down some, uh, just some tan dirt, some sand, some red clay, and maybe some other rock and dirt layers. And in some cases you actually airbrush this stuff where you want it just to get the look that you're looking for. And then I went back and randomly uh, placed different sized rocks and boulders to really give it this uh, authentic Mars look. I even put the haze and the uh, position of the sun and the dust storms and all this. Now this was, this is technology from about four years ago. Um, you know, so you know, this is Unreal Tournament 2004. Um, you know, this looks much better, as it should with today's technology. But anyway, I mean, that's how these images are made. So yes, most of this is probably textured from a mosaic, while some of the uh, really detailed stuff is probably um, airbrushed in using um, other textures. So I don't think it's very fair to NASA or to the men and women and talent and man hours and money that went into this mission to call the whole thing a hoax because a mosaic image or texture layer in a 3D rendering was accidentally overlapped. Should NASA have put this out? No. I think with that much money and resources, NASA could have done a much better job, although this is stunning. Um, you know, when you zoom in and you see mistakes like that, that should not be. Um, I can do a better job with, with software on my desktop readily available to me. And if that's the case, they should be able to do a, uh, just a mind-boggling job with the resources and money and the equipment that they have at JPL and NASA. So I will agree with the argument that they should not have put it out this way. But to call it a hoax, and, that, uh, and to say that NASA's trying to fool everybody and we're not on Mars, I really don't think that's fair. And I would ask everybody, please, if, if you don't understand something, please ask somebody who does before you jump on a conspiracy bandwagon. Um, anyway, I just wanted to put that out for everybody and explain in greater detail how these renderings are done. Y'all have a good day.